Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are getting attacked by a ghast in the swamp. Um, <laughs> rather, this is going to be a video on how GP can ruin you in old school RuneScape. I am just going to walk around the swampland and talk about my experience with gold and how it's ruined me multiple times. So whenever we start playing old school RuneScape, you know, I, I think everyone gets off Tutorial Island, they go kill some goblins, they get a base understanding of the game, they start to get some levels, and after a while, you're really left with the question of, do you want to do about three things, in my opinion? It's really skilling, gold, and questing. Now, obviously, there are others, but I think those are the three main pillars of which I'm going to talk about today. And there's no exact right answer upon quick glance. You just look at the three, you're like, yeah, each one of those has uh, a, an asset that you would like to take from it. With questing, you get access to a lot of places. With skilling, you get access to a lot of methods and maybe better methods. And with gold, you have access to some skilling methods, some better items for combat. And really, that's a question. What do you want to choose? What path do you want to go down? However, as this is a question early on, it is a question that continues throughout the game. It really is an eternal question in Old School RuneScape, which one of those three you'd like to do. And the thing about it is, the people that are questing eventually will not have any more quests to do. Um, so they will, you know, just naturally transition, or by their own choosing, they will transition as well. People at skill also at some point will be making money, and more than likely if you have the stats, uh, skilling-wise to do a majority of the quests, it would make sense for you to eventually quest as well. So I feel like questing and skilling both allow you to flow a lot easier to the other choices. Now with gold, you could say that the gold you get makes you want to skill. You could say that the gold you get makes you want to quest so that you can go get more gold in the future. But I think people honestly focus in way too intently on the value of their bank and they uh, they really do not want to lose money it's like in real life some of the cheapest people you will ever see will be the richest because they got the richest by just being cheap as shit not all the time true but it, it definitely rings true in old school people are very tight on their bank and not willing to spend all that much so from what i can tell there seems to be a real disconnect between gold and the other ways to play the game if you choose for that to be the case now what i I will say is that it's almost the example I'll use is just the sense that you know many of the skills in old school RuneScape you are not going to make much money doing maybe there's like a really really slow method for some profit but for the most part a lot of skills are going to be either zero GP or you're going to have to spend money to do them which then makes the people that are focused on GP so much less inclined to ever give those skills a chance that they just view skilling as a chore and over time they will feel that questing is a chore as well because they're just going to be questing for Barrow's gloves or whatever kind of bosses or achievement diaries they need in the future and so at the end of the day I think that people that are focusing a lot on GP can kind of be built into this character that only likes to get gold, does not like to get any quests done, and does not like to skill because they do not assist him to his overall end. Here are some reasons that I think maybe uh, having a little too much gold may not be the best thing. For starters, I think that early on in the game, a, a lot at like level... Um, I guess 1 to about 70 or 80, a lot of the gear you can buy is basically uh, a mill or less. Like, you're not going to need much gold, so if you spend a lot of time focusing on gold at that point, you you're just kind of wasting it. You're going to have too much gold for the gear that you're even going to need, and so really, it's just counterproductive. You're not really helping yourself, you're just focusing on something just to say that you probably have more cash than someone else, and that's fine. Also, without decent skills and a decent amount of quest unlocks, eventually you're going to be cutting yourself off from some better methods of content uh, that would just be more viable. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to have to do a lot of quests. You're going to have to do a lot of skills eventually, even if you focus on GP, because they're just going to be needed for diaries, endgame, and stuff like that. So why wouldn't you want to just do it early on so that way you have as much access to everything endgame as possible? It just makes a lot of sense to focus on a full account, in my opinion. And then, as I said before, it just makes skilling and questing seem like a chore, and I think it really builds a, a bad image of the game in, in the player's mind. And then on the extreme end, there are people that focus an insane amount on their bank value. To those people, like the people that are just looking at their their total bank value every single day, just caring about it so much, they get caught up in the littlest of things, you know. If, uh, if a market fluctuation hits and their bank goes down 5 mil, they lose their mind. But they'd never know if at 
one up five mil, they never care. But once it goes down five, they lose it. They, they're they're a loose cannon, you know? They're just ready to go. That, it's not good. Fluctuations are gonna happen, that's fine. Don't, don't lose your mind about your bank every day. And on the far end of the spectrum, the people that care so much about their bank that they are just greedy or maybe even willing to stake, that is not good at all. Like it, The people that care more about money are the people that are more likely to get lured. That just seems to make sense. You know, if you want money more, you're more likely to get lured. And at some point you start to plateau and the only way to really get to the next tier as quick as possible is staking. And at some point you may make that choice and it's something that even if you do win at staking, you never really win. Cause, and at that point you get a mentality, you can win money in a short amount of time, and that's gonna come back to bite you just like it does most. Now obviously, that's just how I think money can sort of ruin people. Money can be good, you just have to look at it in the right way. So some of my tips uh, as far as how you can avoid looking at money in this way and just solely focusing on money is maybe take a day out of the week to do some skilling or questing. Make it like one day every week that you just, you know, maybe don't uh, do as much money making. It may seem a little tiresome at first, but once you start to get it down, you start to actually see some gains that are gonna help you in other areas, you'll be a lot more inclined. In addition to that, if you plan on playing RuneScape for a while, you have to look at it as a marathon. You cannot look at it as a race to a large stack of money at which then, you know, what are you gonna do with it, you know? It, it's a long game, you wanna really space out how much money you make. Having as much money as possible early on really doesn't help when eventually you're really gonna still wanna make money at heart, but you'll have no need for it, and that's not good. And then finally, this seems just as obvious as can be, but to some people it isn't, and that's if anything seems too good to be true in Old School RuneScape, it is. If anyone needs you to bring your item to get their item, you're not getting their item, they're gonna get your item. That's just how it works. If people wanted to be nice and trade you a higher value item for a lower value item, they just do it. But they're not, because they're scammers. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I mean, I just wanted to talk about this because money is something that I've always focused on. However, I see a lot of new players that are focusing on it a ton. And I just wanna warn them, it's, uh, it's fun for a little while, but at, at some point it kind of wears its welcome. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to let me know, let me know down below in a comment. And if you guys want to see more as soon as it goes live, make sure to subscribe or check out the Twitch down below because I'll be streaming later, doing a little bit of bossing. With that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, Arm Day's been killing it.